Uh, I'm Tony Chan. I'm the president of the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. This uh, Asian Global Dialogue, the whole Fung Institute, uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very audacious thing. I think it's a long overdue. Uh, I, I hope it will be successful, so I'm here to find out. I want to be part of the party, so to speak. I'm Jane Drake-Rockman. I'm here from the Global Services Network. I, well, I'm here because it's a very exciting opportunity to have a dialogue that really is about what's the, all the new things that are happening in this part of the world, Hong Kong and around the wider Asian region. Uh, just what I've heard today was really quite amazing, you know, from the Singapore, from Malaysia, from India, and how they look at worldwide events from an Asian, from their own country's perspective, which is kind of lacking, really, you know, in you know, overall thing, because it's always a little bit more Western-oriented, typically. I'm, I'm very keen to hear particularly about the latest developments in supply chain activity and how that is impacting on global growth. And I'm interested also to, to uh, have some insights into the differences between the Chinese and Indian growth models. I'm personally hoping that in both of those topics, uh, we might get some uh, discussion on the role of the services economy, services industry, services supply chains, and, and how the services sector is contributing to growth. I was looking forward to Victor Fung's uh, speech. I was looking forward to Volker's uh, dinner speech. But really, I've been trying to keep an open mind. You know, some of these people are not, they're not household names, in, in a sense, except for in their professional field. But I know you look at their their track record. They all have held uh, in one position in whatever they do. So I would just uh, keep an open mind and see what they have to say. I'm interested in absolutely everything on the agenda. It's a fabulous agenda. We've already had uh, just a wealth of speakers. It's wonderful. Hi, I'm Dr. A.J. Baldus from Peking University. I'm so happy to be here. We're seeing some excellent speakers. We're learning a lot. People are getting together, networking. It's a fantastic event. We're all getting together, learning more about how the Asian economy is growing and changing. So it's a real privilege to be here. I'm Maura Wong. I am in the private equity business. I invest in the environmental sectors in China. I have known about the Global Institute since its establishment, and I've actually gotten to know the people and the work, and even uh, participate in some of the projects. And I have been looking forward to this conference for a while, and I'm really glad I'm here to be able to hear the speakers. I'm Roland Chin. I'm from the University of Hong Kong. I want to learn something, know how Asia will develop to contribute to the world, and how Hong Kong could play an important role in this development. Yes, I'm looking for the changes in the currency that we may, might look forward to uh, coming out of Asia. Um, I think uh, what I expect is to hear from really the intellectuals, the top intellectuals, and the, the thought leaders, and the business leaders, and sector leaders from all over the world to talk about some of the most uh, uh, fundamental and yet pressing issues that face Asia today. Yes, I, I, I listened to three very interesting talks. Uh, one from the Hong Kong perspective, one from a China perspective, and one from an Indian perspective. These are three very important components in developing uh, Asia, and I'm looking forward to hearing you know, the perspective from other countries. Well, I know that uh, Victor and uh, a lot of people have some very interesting thoughts and things to say about the global supply chain and how the global trade relations uh, will evolve over time. I'm really interested to hear more about it. And I I was really impressed by Mr. Lumin Khan's speech today and I think his thoughts and Andrew's work about the, um, the risks and challenges facing today's global finance is also really exciting. And because, as I said, I'm in the environment sector, so I'm really interested in also Mike Spence area and the environment sustainability. So I'm interested in all the areas. <laughs>